Don't hide away the things you're feeling Unlock your mind and lose the key There's a universe inside you You should never have to hide I can see the stars inside you Please just open up your eyes Alright peeps That's the wake up time Getting an early start here in Bali It's time for an adventure Stop the path of devastation You should live for all the high Good morning, it is Danny here. Today, today is gonna be the big adventure day. So we have been on the road already for three hours or something. This morning we woke up at 4 a.m. I mean, we took the bike, it still was dark outside. We got to a seaport, we took the ticket, and now we are in like the neighboring kind of, it's, it's a pretty big island actually. Uh, of Bali, Nusa, Penida, and this is known as kind of like the hidden gem of Bali. It's not very known in the last few years, it has been upcoming. Three different ports taking you here. We paid for the ticket 100,000 rupiah, which is around five, uh, no, 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 it's, which is like eight to nine dollars. But I think this is one of the more budget options because usually I heard it's like more like 150. What's up, boys? How are you doing? Hello! Yeah! And we also got a scooter here right after arriving, so we left the other scooter at uh, the other side. There's also a big ferry where you can take your scooter with you, but we didn't want it to do the two hour ride. It was a 20 minute fast boat, so it's a good deal, it's like five dollars or something. And now let's head out, and um, I don't really know what we can expect if it's gonna be. If it's gonna be like amazing and mind blowing, because so far Bali, we liked it, but I really hope that today, today's gonna be the day where. Something's gonna happen up here. Let's see. How much? How much? 20? Sollst du, glaube ich, schneller machen. We are on our way, and it's supposed to be a pretty rough ride, but the last like 50 minutes have been really good. We'll see how it's gonna go. And it's a little cloudy, I hope it's gonna clear up once we're gonna get there, so... Okay, so a little bit over half hour later, we made it here. Haven't seen the viewpoint yet, so as you see, there is quite some things. You can get some food back there, you can get drinks, and we're just thinking like everywhere in the internet it says like make sure to have a lot of water with you and a full gasoline tank. And I think a lot of things happen here because you can get gas at almost every corner. You can get a drink. They have restaurants here. They have a toilet, a self-paying toilet. Okay, so you are experiencing right now with us the first impression of this place. This is absolutely mind-blowing. I expected it to be amazing, but wow, this is just massive. It's different to everything that we have seen because it's so big. Without a doubt, I'm right now at one of the sickest, most beautiful, impressive viewpoint of this planet. I mean, just look at that. If I see it in the camera, I feel like it's not real. I would say there have been very, very few places out of everything that we have seen that was just, you're feeling so small right now. You look at it and you're questioning your reality and the reality of this thing back there and I'm just like really after half an hour of hanging around here drone flying taking a few shots I'm slowly realizing the size of that so I expected it to be really impressive but this is probably top three out of everything that we have seen and this is I would say the most rewarding thing that you can do when you're like staying in Bali and 
Whew. A little bit of loss of words happening. So it's already a few hours later, we're at Crystal Bay Beach. It's definitely a really cool place, but so many things happened in the last few hours where I haven't been really vlogging, I haven't been really able to vlog because there's been madness going down. I'm gonna tell you more about that once we're gonna be back on the Bali main island, but it has been really crazy, but I'm not gonna talk about that now because when I really enjoy this place, and this place is definitely one, it's, it's probably the best beach you can get around in this area. There's the universe inside you. You should never have to hide I can see the stars inside you Please just open up your eyes Whoa, a little cut into the video What happened? We're back at home, we're in Changu, Bali Let me tell you what happened I didn't really continue to vlog because from a moment on everything started to kind of like happen really quick I got a few clips, I'm gonna include them here right now So. I think we left off at uh, Clean King Beach. The view was just absolutely amazing. Nature did a thing and it was top three of anything that we have seen. Like from when we arrived there, like 7.30, we've been hanging around for like two hours, like a little bit behind the viewpoint where all the people have been. And we have seen more and more people coming in. But then all of a sudden we're heading back to the viewpoint. There have been hundreds and thousands and thousands of people. This was crazy. And we have been just like trying to make our way through there. And I still have a few clips of that. It, it still looked very nice. And I didn't really care about that. Yo, it's a beautiful place. A lot of people want to experience it. I'm absolutely fine with that. But on our way out, there have been hundreds of cars in a parking lot that's maybe built for like 50 cars. And hundreds of cars have been coming in. I really have no idea on how they're planning to get out there. So basically I filmed that as well. There have been so many people and so many cars trying to come in. We needed like 20 or 30 minutes to get out of the parking lot. But once we got out there, I've been just thinking, this is madness. This place is sometimes marketed as kind of like the hidden gem and the unknown place. But I think at this point, this is probably the hot spot of everything here. There was more going on in like the most touristy beach in Bali. From there we have been heading to the Crystal Bay Beach. It was a very nice, beautiful beach. And what happened then is we had like one and a half hour left until our ship was leaving and we couldn't find our key like one hour before the ship was coming. We have been looking around for our keys. We have been just like, what are we supposed to do? This is the last ship. If we wouldn't find the key, we would have I don't know what we have would have done. No idea how to get back to the port. No idea what to say to a scooter rental. Okay guys, absolute madness it just happened. We lost our key for half an hour and we have our boat going back to Bali in like 30 minutes. It's like a 20 minute ride. And I found the keys. She found the keys, we've been looking all around. We asked all the locals, we had like a group of like 20 men looking for our keys in the end, she found it. They were just in the sand as it often is. We need to hurry, we need to get to the... Well, I hope we're gonna make it happen, let's go. You guys must do! <laughs> on the verge of like giving up and being like, yo, we're staying on the island tonight, we're gonna have to figure this out. And then I'm like, well, let, let's try like one more or less time. So Judy is walking over into the sand and she finds the key. We're heading back, we're heading back to the port, we're getting jumping back on a ship seriously racing to the port because we found the key like 40 minutes before the boat was departing and I thought we were like 30 minutes away so I was like perfect but then we're driving and driving and driving and we're just not driving and our navigation wasn't giving us the proper route so in the end it was more of like a 50 55 minute route if you go like 50 <laughs> But I was going 80, just like a scooter on, not not the best tr streets, but still, it was a safe ride. Don't definitely don't do it if you don't necessarily have to do it. But I had a feeling this is the, one of these few situations. Take a little risk, and really, we jumped on the boat 40 seconds before it docked off and and just left. Last boat for the day. It wouldn't been like the end of the world, but it would it would mean like yo. Look for accommodation, don't really have any stuff with us. So Judy's hanging back here. 
and she's like saying she has been prepared for the night and I've, I've just been thinking is that uh, when we left I said like I didn't say we're gonna stay for a night I was just like it would be cool to stay for a night and she actually packed a toothbrush and what else like underwear yeah. <laughs> she knew it she knew she's gonna what? Like all the time, oh, maybe we're doing spontaneously a night. That was the reason why. I said that before no, we took I all the decisions. Because I thought that we lost our keys or something. Like yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and one, one big tip. If you're watching right now and you're just watching for the pure intention of seeing this place, keep one thing in mind. The tours are happening, I believe, between around 9 and 3 to 4 o'clock. And you can stay at this island overnight easily. At this point, it is actually pretty well developed. There are a lot of stalls to get food, to get uh, petrol, to get uh, drinks. For a few days, you're going to be just fine, if you, even if you're traveling on a budget. But what you can do, we arrived at the viewpoint at like 8.30. There have been maybe 10 people, maybe 15 people. It has been super relaxed. This is my main recommendation for this place. Thank you very much for watching. I'm sorry that this is kind of like... A little bit of a different format, me doing more of a storytelling, but yesterday's day was just too intense to keep vlogging, even though I think I did a few shots, and uh, yeah. You know what it's all about? You got a role to see, and I'll see you in the next video. Please just open up.